Imagine that I handed you a gallon of paint. And with this paint, you could cover any surface with electronic devices. Let's say you wanted this table to be a touchscreen, or you wanted to coat the entire building, the rooftops, the walls, even the sidewalks outside, with solar panels, like that. This is possible using electronic paint. I just mixed up a batch in lab earlier today myself. Electronic paint, at its core, is made up of long molecules called conducting polymers. These molecules behave a lot like spaghetti, like that. In order to make paintable electronic devices that perform well, say solar cells that harvest energy efficiently, we need these conducting polymers to straighten out and align like the top right figure. This is really difficult because polymers don't want to do this. Polymers would much rather stay coiled up in a nice, safe little ball. So my thesis seeks to answer two questions. Number one, when we coat our films, how do we know if our polymers have straightened out and aligned like that? And number two, how do we control that once we see that it can be done? The answer to the first question can be found through image analysis. This first picture is a bowl of spaghetti. The second picture is a bowl of electronic spaghetti. It's about 10,000 times smaller. I can take this image using an algorithm that I developed and isolate the orientations of every single fiber, of every single polymer in this image. You can see there's bundles of blue polymers that are traveling in the blue direction, bundles of green polymers traveling in the green direction, and you can see even underneath that is a whole sheet of red polymers traveling in the red direction. So this is pretty good. We have some small bundles, but in order to make the best devices, we need these to be traveling all in the same direction. They need to be all the same color. One of the strategies we can use to do this is to take our polymers and pass them through a very small tube before we coat them. This forces them to align and straighten out the same way that spaghetti aligns and straightens out as you suck it up out of a bowl and it has to pass through the small opening in your lips. If we can learn to control this phenomenon very accurately, we'll be taking one step closer towards making paintable electronics a reality, along with all the applications that I said before. So in summary, if you're at a restaurant and you catch your kids playing with their food, it's OK. They're doing science. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.